making a video while I'm driving because it's a two hour drive and it's the only time that I ever, you know, have all these thoughts and can actually get them out. I'm not gonna look, so don't judge me. But I just wanted to share how excited I am about everything in life right now. It's really crazy and it's blowing my mind. It's also scary, but I know it's gonna be okay, no matter what. And yeah, like there's always gonna be setbacks, but my friend and I, actually my new roommate and I were talking about that yesterday. Um, so I met this girl at the San Diego Adaptive Sports Camp that I was helping coach. Um, she moved here from Pennsylvania. She's an occupational therapist. She's 25 or 26. But she's in a wheelchair. She was in, a, I think, a car accident. Um, and she's just a complete badass. Uh, just go-getter. And she decided she always wanted to move to California. And so she just quit her job and up and did it and was staying on um, the, some of our teammates, well, the guys from the Wolf Pack that I hope to be their teammate, um, she was staying on their couch. Uh, okay, it's really complicated, but. So she got in touch with the lady who runs uh, San Diego Adaptive Sports Program and that lady um, offered to help bring her out during the camp and put her up in a hotel and that was the first part of her move and she made all these uh, interview appointments for jobs and and then she, so she just came out here stuff's in storage she's on someone's couch and I met her at the camp and I need to move down further south but first of all I still don't have a job because I need a job that works with everything and that encompasses everything that I want to do figuring it out and I'm really thinking it's more of an entrepreneurial renewal thing but I don't really know I'm trying to figure it out before I run out of money and if I do get to that point then I'll just take a job but um, for now I'm trying to figure it out so I met I went to the camp because I love coaching and I want to get out there and make as many connections as I can while I'm here because um, I'm I need to. It's the most important thing to do right now is just put myself out there as much as possible. And then I met her and I asked her if she would want to get a place together and she was so over the top excited because she had no idea what she was going to do either and finding a place you can afford is crazy. So we just found this amazing place yesterday that's way too good to be true. It's so insane. So I don't know. I'm still thinking it's too good to be true but we met with the lady who is the sweetest. She's a nurse and when she saw both of us in wheelchairs and she's just like over the top excited about us living at her place, which is an extremely good deal and an extremely nice area. It's incredible. I'm so mind blown right now. So that just went through this morning still not final because I have to be able to sign the papers um, and all of that so but I'm on my way to LA to the Triumph Foundation's casino night fundraiser dinner that um, I was invited to attend with ABC Medical um, from another incredibly amazing sweet lady uh, yeah this, it's just just all too good to be true and so many so many amazing things are happening I'm and I can finally sit on my butt again that's amazing yeah I'm driving to LA and I'm sitting on a rojo in my car and I'm fine this is amazing I'm healing coming out of the dark hole awesome. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And yes, I mean, I just, it's, I know I'm going to have hard times coming up and, and, you know, 
just because like everything's going so good right now definitely I definitely still have depression like every day it's always a fight to get out of bed that's the start but when I get going and when I do the things that I need to do and more I feel so good and I just got to keep it going and I'll be fine so that's what I've been doing and it has been really awesome there's like the times like last night you know I had all this good stuff happening all the time constantly and me and Ali went and looked at the place uh, met the couple and had so much fun and then I got home and felt alone and bored and just kind of just really down but that's because the times that you're alone and all those good things you know aren't happening like right at that moment you know like there's the times when you get everybody's texting you like throughout the day and calling you and you have all this great stuff happening and then there's the days that like no one texts you and it just is so strange how that happens but it's kind of like that and you just have to tell yourself you know just take some time and relax or I don't know get something done but I'm thinking during those times like last night it wasn't so much that I needed to do something productive or get something done to get through it I just needed to relax and do something for myself that you know I enjoyed so I what did I do I tried to figure out my you know outfit for today and I curled these hair extensions that I have that I didn't end up wearing and I don't know what else I did but I got through it and now it's a new day and it's gonna be so exciting yeah so yeah everything's going really good I'm really happy it's gonna keep getting better and better and better okay that's all do not judge me for taking this video because if I didn't do it now like never gonna do it and I am straight looking at the road the entire time Okay, bye.